Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your mid-August 2018 general reading. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, go ahead and click that like button. It uh, helps the channel out, helps me out. Um, what's going on? Go ahead, comment below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading with me. Uh, the winners will be announced April 5th, April, August 15th. <laughs> Something about April. What happened in April, Scorpio? Let me know. All right, so we're going to do a free form reading. I'm just going to pull some cards. We're going to see what, what comes up, comes out, all right? I um, hope that everyone's having a really good month. Um, intuitively, I feel like some of you felt, okay, so it's questions of worth, less than. Somebody did something else with somebody else that you wish they would have done with you. I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure you do. Um, bottom of the deck realizations and epiphanies Aries had this so it's just like yeah you okay and, and then moving some of you are moving uh, moving away from emotionally mentally from a situation physically moving moving okay realizations and epiphanies sometimes moving moving physical objects and physical things brings up old emotions okay so sometimes within a move um like say you're moving home or business or whatnot it can start to resurface uh, old emotions about uh, a situation that you thought you were over um <clears throat> some of you have more than one baby mama baby daddy situation i call it the modern day polygamy um it, but you, you've got with someone, it may even marry them or you're in a long-term committed relationship with this one person. But at the same time, there's still a divide. You still feel divided within yourself because you have procreated. You have children with other women or other men, whatever you know your situation is. Um, it's hard on the person that you're with. You're trying to maintain a uh, a front but it's hard please be patient with them and you're going to have to be reassuring some of you have a cheating spouse man or woman um, you know it I think this is where the, the self worth is coming in at so some of you you're feeling it's like questions of self worth um, their cheating is completely on them. There's nothing you could have done or could do, or haven't done, um, within the marriage or the long-standing relationship. It is, you know, it was just gonna happen. Um, I don't see you leaving right now. Children are involved. Some of you have your finances tied up in your marriage. There, there's business deals, business assets. Um, you can't leave. You want to leave. There's so much to figure out in the realm of that. Some of you are the kept woman or the 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 wife, long-standing girlfriend who doesn't work. So your money is tied up with this other, with your husband or this other person, or vice versa. Instead of processing some of the feelings that you have, some of you are throwing it into work. Some of you out here, okay, out here talking crazy to people. Your your conversation, your dialogue, how you talk to people is off. And it's so, um, what's the word? Um, apparent to other people that there is something wrong with you not wrong in the sense of oh like there's a chemical imbalance there's you, you know you might have mental issues but there's an emotional problem that you haven't dealt with so you're out here talking crazy to people some of you are talking crazy to your partner or vice versa it's getting you nowhere um that's what i'm hearing all right adult children changing your mind get some rest spiritual growth a lot of people getting spiritual growth i think a lot of people are seeing the um 
the, fru the fruition of not of just being so carnal of being so physical uh well he cheats so i'll cheat i heard a story the other day from someone and it was just it was mind-blowing to me because i i just don't think that way but then she ended with i'm now not doing any of those things because i understand mm -hmm. the spiritual ramification of um of doing those things so spiritual girls guys all right let's get some cards let's get some tarot cards on here let's see what's going on some of you have adult children or you are the adult child young adult children young adult child um you need to look in on your parents or your parents are concerned about you some decisions you've made or um you have young adult children that may be playing a part in a relationship um they may be standing in the way of a situation or a relationship um the connection between some of you and, and your parent is very strong um it's almost um some people question it but maybe that's because they don't have a really strong relationship with their parent the world the four of fire the tower yeah endings some things that needed to be long brought down and i think now you're realizing that realizations and epiphanies the tower comes in to help you in regards to this relationship it should have a chapter should have closed in this relationship a long time ago what's this about spirit thank you eight of the air some of you just felt trapped you didn't see a way out of, of a situation maybe with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius or a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo it looks like Scorpio brought the tower down maybe because they found out that a partner was um, not faithful in and out indecisive about their own wants and needs passionate about everybody and everything Let's see. The hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. It caused, like I said, some of you in the beginning, you're questioning yourself, where you're questioning what's going on with you. This is that that self-reflection that we all need to have at times. Um, why am I attracting this? What am I doing? What's wrong with me? Um, why would I put up with that? You know, you get to really start thinking about what part did I play in this? Like seriously, three of air at the bottom of the deck. Um, of course, third party situation could be um, divorce, separation, the need to practice caution in this relationship, infidelity here. I think you got, like I said, some of you know, but it's like you can't leave, you want to leave, or somebody knows about your infidelity. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, let's see what's going on here. Six of water, yeah, children are here. Um, you, you also long you long for somebody else a cancer Pisces Scorpio yeah you want to give messages to them or you, you send messages back and forth flirty messages messages of love seven of earth you're looking at what you invested behind you you're waiting for a payoff some of you are looking at the past too some of you can't leave because you're looking at the past the chariot yeah, six of earth you're looking at what you invested here. You're looking at how this could be a really good relationship for you, or if not, you're if you're not already in a relationship with maybe a cancer. Some of you are trying to move forward because some of you are waiting for money. That's the only way you can move forward. But yeah, um, there's problems in your marriage too. This could be a second marriage, second relationship. There could be another woman, another man. Oh my God, King of Air could be, yeah, could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Libra and and or Aquarius. Page of Earth. You want to start over. Mm. Yeah, you want to start over with someone. 
a male figure. It could be an air sign. It could be any sign. You just want reconciliation with them. You want something real and true. The communication may be short with, between you guys. Okay. This is... The communication could be short maybe with another cancer pisces scorpio like yourself pisces and, and uh scorpio like yourself or highlighted you want to take the risk here lay down the, the burden that is this relationship you need to heal you want wish fulfillment Some of you are trying to heal from what the, the other partner did. Like you're trying to get to a better place. Yeah, and you're trying to work on it. Trying to be strong here. Yeah. Your partner's trying to do that with you, but at the same time, they don't they do think about the past. They think about the the other person. But they're trying to move away from that. Separate themselves from that. But they're still holding on to this other person. Maybe even daydreaming about this other person. A Libra Aquarius took a risk on you, Scorpio. And you are just, you want them, but you don't know how to have them. It's too much sometimes dealing with them. Ace of air. You can only have a new start. Okay, so it's like y'all try to just kind of like mask over all the stuff that happened in the past. But nobody really talked about what the future looks like. No one really gave truth and clarity about, well, this hurt me or that hurt me. Or we did this or, you know, and got past it. And just, it's just like you just jump right back into it. You can only have that true new start with having that, that talk. Yeah. Oh, honey, good luck. It might work. It might not. I'm going to tell you that. Um, some of you have a lot of options. Or somebody's keeping options open. Let's see if we can. We have 12 minutes. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do this. Okay. All right. Well, Scorpio get wish fulfillment. Whatever you're hoping and wishing for, Scorpio, let's see. Will Scorpio get wish fulfillment? Will Scorpio get wish fulfillment? This Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they cannot get over whatever in the hell happened. I don't, I don't know what happened. Somebody, somebody did something. Somebody betrayed somebody. I don't know. They can't get over it. They still deal with you. They still talk to you. Still... And they even live with you. Um, they can't get over what happened. These two cards popped up. Alright, so if the middle card is upright, the answer is yes. If it's reverse, it's no. Okay, two of cups in reverse. It looks like no wish fulfillment right now. Especially in regards to relationship. You guys, whomever you're with, could be another water sign. You're not seeing eye to eye. Could be anybody. Let's see strength. Yeah, it's like this person you're dealing with cannot get over whatever in the hell happened. They just do not have the courage and the strength to move forward. Page of Pentacles. It's like you guys are putting the effort in, the time in. The both of you could be. But can't move forward. Six of Pentacles talks about the inequality in relationship. Maybe money. Maybe time, energy. Also talks about the problems here. The Four of Pentacles in reverse talks about... I'm trying to be honest. I'm trying to let go. Some of you could be trying to let go of an earth sign. Queen of Swords and Reverse. Yeah. This Gemini Libra Aquarius. 
100% can't get over whatever the hell happened. All right. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. Um, all of my information is below of how to get in contact with me. There are three ways. Email. Instago. Go over to my website. Instagram is just so that you guys can have a snapshot of the person that I am outside of doing tarot. Do not request a reading there. You will be redirected. Politely re redirected, but redirected. Um, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, Scorpio. I'm pretty sure everything will turn out in your favor. Stay in prayer. Thank you for tuning in. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon.